What goes up must come down. That's the message from the Shreveport Police Department as we ring in 2011. It's a message that could save a life. KTBS 3's Kristen King shows us how police are targeting celebratory shooters and introduces us to a man who knows all too well about falling bullets. As New Year's Eve approaches, the Shreveport Police Department is sending a message to anyone choosing to celebrate with gunfire over fireworks. It's just not appropriate. Uh, and when you uh, take the lives of others and put them at risk, uh, you're going to be dealt with by your police department. Police are increasing personnel for the New Year's celebration in an effort to be proactive, prevent crimes, and arrest anyone putting others in danger. It is dangerous to the average citizen. It's, it's, a, it's destruction of property. People need to realize it, if it goes up, it will come down. John Long has been collecting stray bullets around his family's shop for 15 years, and he says each one has its own story. This is what knocked out our telephones in, I believe it was, 02. Bullets have struck the roof of his shop, the parking lot, and even hit the windshield of a car parked outside. Sometimes it hits the, uh, the pavement. Well, no damage to me, no damage to the property. But what if someone was standing there? It could have been fatal. The Shreveport police receive anywhere from 30 to 50 calls reporting gunfire on New Year's Eve. Some of those turn out to be fireworks, but they encourage anyone who believes they hear gunfire to call 911. Kristen King, KTBS 3 News. Sergeant Bill Gooden says he doesn't know of any reported injuries from celebratory fire, but doesn't want to take any chances. The charges associated with celebratory gunfire can range from a misdemeanor to a felony. If you'd like more information on how you and your family can celebrate the new year safely, we invite you to go to our website, ktbs.com.